Adjustment layers are an incredibly useful part of Photoshop. They're, they're probably one of the most powerful layers that we have there because there's so much that you can do with them. They're all non-destructive. They give us a lot of uh, different options of what we can do to our images once they're in Photoshop. Now, Adobe added presets in there a while back and they were they were installed from Adobe. So they came from Adobe, you could click on them, you could modify all the adjustment layers that those presets added, but the only thing you couldn't do was make your own presets, okay? So say one of the Adobe ones didn't include a curves layer, there was no way to go in there and add it. Well, recently they added that feature. You're able to create your own presets inside of that adjustment panel. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. Now, remember this feature is only in Photoshop, okay? It's only in the Photoshop interface. And if you were to look at the version of Photoshop, uh, it came out in the 25.5.0 or, or any version after that is where you'll find this feature here. So this is uh, February of 2024. Now, you're gonna go into the window menu. You wanna make sure you get to your adjustments panel. Okay, that's this panel over here. And we used to just have a, a single list of all the adjustments that are in there. And then at some point they added adjustment presets to it. So that was some presets that were created from Adobe but you couldn't go in there and modify any of them. And it was still kind of neat. And, you know, if you went in there and you found a preset that you liked, uh, you would just go, it's definitely too saturated for me, but you could just click on it. And then what it'll do is it'll add those adjustment layers for you. And then you're always able to go in there and either uh, adjust the settings in there just by double clicking on it. It'll open up the properties panel and show the settings. Of course, you could dial back those settings. You could dial back the opacity, the blend modes, the masking, all those different things. So, you know, if you're you're thinking about why would I use these presets over something else that might be inside a Lightroom or Camera Raw, um, you, you do get more options in, in some ways, okay? You get more options to edit and change these things. And then there was always a more section in there, which listed these into portrait, landscape, photo repair, creative, et cetera. So you can go back and view all those different presets. What they added recently, and that is on the February 2024 update, is a Your Preset section. Okay, so what we could do is I could go down here to Single Presets and I could go say I wanted to adjust the brightness and contrast. So I could do that. I could make the photo a little bit brighter, make the photo a little bit contraster. In fact, I might even experiment making it a little bit darker and moodier and then increasing the contrast there. All right, and then I could go in and go back to my adjustments and let's say I wanted to add a levels adjustment. I could bring that white point in and that'll even, that'll make the whites a little bit brighter inside of there so you can modify it that way. I'll do one more just because we can and do something, I don't know, how about, uh, let's do a, how about hue saturation, okay? So I could adjust the hue if I wanted to or I could even boost the saturation or pull back the saturation if I wanted more of a, a muted look inside of there. So at this point, we've added three different adjustment layers. So let's go back over to this adjustment panel. We go under your presets, you can see you can create your own presets, all right? And there's a little plus button on there. Um, the first thing to know is that it's going to make your preset based on the layer or layers that you have chosen down here. So in this example here, I only have hue saturation. So this one, it, just, it took me a few minutes to figure this out. I did it wrong the first time I tried it out. I went up there and I just hit the little plus icon. I created a preset and I'll just hit save. And what I realized was when I went and applied that preset, you're gonna see here, it's just gonna add a hue saturation adjustment preset. It does it in its own folder group, which is kind of nice, but it just added the hue and saturation one. So let's go ahead and delete that there. So, and we'll actually go to the preset and this will tilt the hand toward a feature that's in there. You'll see your preset, you see a little pop-out menu there and you can delete that preset as well as rename it or export it, which we'll talk about in just a minute here. But we'll go in there and delete the preset and hit delete. All right, so now we've learned from this. So we know it's just gonna do the, the, the adjustment layers that we have selected. So what we wanna do is click on the top one and then hold down the shift key and click on the bottom one. So now all three of these are targeted. You can see how they're highlighted over there. Now we come up here, we hit that little plus icon, give our preset a name, hit save. That created the same preset, but this time it includes all three of those preset layers. So let's go ahead, I'll just delete all three of those preset layers and then press on our preset here. It even gives you a little preview. So you can see it kind of takes a couple of seconds. So on slower computers, that preview might not happen quite as fast, but gives us a little bit of a preview here. And if we click on it, 
it will apply all three of those adjustment layers the way that we had them, the way that we had them when we created the photo to this image. And again, it puts them into a folder group. All right, so that way you've got all three of them inside of there. Now, just like you'd expect with any preset, we can modify it. So if I went to my levels adjustment layer, I click on it, it's exactly where I left it, but I can always go there and of course tweak it uh, based on whatever that photo needs. Okay, so now let's go back here to the adjustments panel. Let's take a look at some of the other features that we get when we have our own presets here. I do have a very quick word from our sponsor, which is I, I jumped into Photoshop here. I do have a Photoshop how-to course, which has been an incredibly popular course, very affordable course. And it's the kind of thing that if you got the basics of Photoshop down, you don't want a beginner's course. You just want to know how to do stuff, okay? Um, and you don't want to necessarily get 20 different answers on how to do things because then that gets you working in all different ways. So in this course, it's a very condensed way how to do things. You get the same workflow from the same person. Um, there's a ton of how-tos in there, everything from selections, masking, replacing backgrounds, noise reduction, sharpening, restoring old photos, making signatures, there's a ton of stuff in there. The website will tell you everything you need to know, but I do hope you'll swing by and check that one out because um, if you want to, that is the next level in Photoshop. Once you know the tools, to do things. It's how to do things that get you better and better at Photoshop, more familiar with those things so that, uh, you know, the next time a project comes up, you already know, kind of hit the ground running and you can move on. Okay, we left off where we wanted to take a look at some of the other options that are available with these presets here in this little pop-out menu. Uh, we already saw that we can delete one. And in fact, I'm gonna, let me go in here and just delete the entire uh, folder here because let's make two presets because uh, what I'm about to show you I think will work better that way. So I'm just gonna click the plus icon. In fact, let's actually do something to the photo. So I'll just add brightness and contrast, make the photo a little bit brighter and make a new preset here. I'll just name it preset two. So now we've got two presets in there. And what's nice about this is uh, like most presets in, in all of Adobe applications, we can share these and we can save these. So if you go to the pop-out menu, you'll see that we have rename and we have delete. Uh, but we also have export. So we can export that individual preset or we can export all of the custom presets. So I'll just go to export all. Uh, you just have to pick a pick a place on your computer, put it wherever you want. There's no there's no right answer to, to where these go. Photoshop doesn't care where you, what you do here. So just pick a place that you know where to go find it. I'll just call it Matt's Custom PS Presets and hit save, all right? And then I'll go over here and I'll delete the first preset and I'll delete the second preset. So now there'll come a time where those presets aren't inside of there, but you wanna bring them in. Uh, the only trick is, is it's not done right here, right in the middle here where you, you, almost all of your preset options are done and everything we've done so far is right there. It's not done there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to the pop-out menu, the, the little hamburger menu that's at the top right of every single panel inside of Photoshop, every panel has one of these menus. You'll see it for layers, you'll see it everywhere. So you're gonna to go to the top right there, it's a little microscopic icon, but it is there. And then what you're gonna do here is choose import presets. So you choose import, you just go find your file, click on open, and it'll bring those presets inside there. So if I were, let's delete our brightness and contrast one. Let's click on preset one and you'll remember it included all three of those adjustment layers and they are there. So we were able to save those I brought them into Photoshop, obviously on the same computer, but you could bring them into Photoshop on uh, multiple, multiple computers if you wanted to share them with people, or if you had uh, multiple, multiple computers, for some reason I can't say the word, but if you had multiple computers that you have, you can share these presets and bring them onto each one of them. Onto each one of them. Uh, hopefully one of the things that we get in the future, because I know the question is gonna come up, uh, obviously with our adjustment presets that come with Photoshop, when we clicked on more, we saw that there was a bunch of little folders inside of here that let us group different presets. Uh, you don't get that with the Your Presets section here. They're just gonna be a long list of the presets there. So hopefully at some point we get some type of feature in there that allows us to group those presets together like the default Adobe ones. Also, while you're here, uh, a while back I did a video on really what I would classify as probably one of the best tools to get added to Photoshop in in in, in a decade. I can't I can't imagine I can't imagine what life is like without this tool now that I have it. So uh, if you're looking for another video to go watch to see what that tool is, how it works, it's a great one to go to next.